So it is Saturday, February the 10th, 2024. I want to just do an update on the state of the emergency in Ecuador. This is not going to really be much different than what you can get from other creators that are reporting on the same stuff. I've got a couple of other channels that I follow, you know, along with uh, producing mine. And I'm going to tell you about a new one that I discovered. You probably already are familiar with... Uh, fall off the map, Jesse, fall off the map. Very interesting uh, individual, got a very successful channel, over 20,000 subscribers, 27,000, I think, subscribers. I asked him how he managed to get so many subscribers, but he, he started his channel in 2016 after the, the 2016 earthquake. So he's been around for a while, and he uh, has been all over the world, and he's an interesting guy. I'm gonna put a link to his channel in the description. Please go watch some of his stuff and subscribe, okay? And I feel the same way about him as I do my buddy GM Ace. And I want you, I would like to encourage you to, uh, to subscribe to my channel and those two other channels as well. I'll get started on this update right after this. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. So, this is this updates about the state of the emergency in Ecuador. I mean, I, I've got really uh, some interesting news. I've actually got some data, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put the source for this data. It's, it's actually from. My friend uh, Ace Maldonado over at Jim Ace uh, channel, and he provided the source, and so I'm pretty much just repeating what what he talked about. So it's really no big news. If you've already seen like the four week update on the state of emergency, you probably have already heard everything that I'm going to tell you about. But here, so so far since the start of the state of the emergency. The government forces have accomplished the following. I'm really quite impressed by this. They've so far they've they've seized uh, over 103,000 pounds of drugs. Okay, that's that's a lot. Okay, they have captured uh, 6,341 people, of which 241 were deemed as terrorists. They have conducted 110 police operations against the terror organizations. Six terrorists have been killed. 34 people have been kidnapped, or 34 people that had been kidnapped have been recaptured. The following has been confiscated. Now listen to this, this is very interesting. 1,991 firearms have been uh, confiscated. 2,909 I think they call it pointing devices, but knives, you know, things you stick with, you know, and a thousand and ninety weapon feeders. Now, if you look on the on the website, you'll see the weapon feeders are like, you know, cartridges, ammo cartridges that go in semi-automatic guns and all that kind of stuff. They've seized 28 boats. They've seized $168,000 U.S. dollars. They've also confiscated or recovered, not confiscated, but they've, re they've recovered 979 vehicles, okay? They have seized 2,837 communications devices, cell phones and radios and that kind of stuff that the cartel guys all use to communicate with them. Violent deaths have reduced from 28 a day to six a day. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say with authority that these deaths are, you know, gang leaders, gangs, you know. Most of the deaths that happen in this country are gang-related deaths, okay? A lot of them happen in the prisons. Now, one thing, speaking of which, one thing I notice about uh, some of these reports that we don't hear too much about uh, today, but you know, it, from what I've heard, I wish I could find a, an actual written source where I could provide it to you, that Ecuador has pretty much already recaptured all of the prisons. 
and and the government, the Ecuadorian government, the military forces, all have full control of the the prisons. Okay. Now some updates on some other things. The the border crossings are still the same. If you're on foot or in a car or a bus or whatever, and you're trying to come into Ecuador from Peru or Colombia, you're going to have to have an opistilled background check uh, that's good for five years, covers the last five years, and it has to be in Spanish too. Okay, so I, I know that most of you are not going to be in that situation, but just I'm telling you just for those of you that need to know, okay? The curfews are pretty much the same. The Monta curfew is still in effect from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. And it'll be that way until March the 8th. And then who knows what's gonna happen after that. As far as the rationing of power, uh, that is over with. There is no more rationing of power. Uh, the other bit of news that I think you need to know about uh, President Noboa wants to increase the IVA taxes from 12% to 15%. Somewhere around March the 10th is when they are supposedly going to start doing that. Uh, for those of you that don't know it, us seniors that are over 65, up until recently, we were able to get back a lot of the taxes that we paid throughout the month. But there was a cap of $108 per month, or it was 107 107 or 108, I never reached the cap anyway, but I would always get like 75, 80 bucks a month back from the sales tax that I paid. They've stopped doing that. They have not, I have not received a refund now in, in three months. So let me just kind of go through the list here and make sure there's not something that I've left out. I think um, uh, some other uh, little bits of stuff that has happened. 89,267 ammunition seized. So in other words, ammo, bullets, stuff like that. I thought what was interesting to find out, I don't think I mentioned it before, is that of all the stuff that they've seized, they've seized 9,776 explosive devices. I think probably a good portion of those were in Monta, and that's what these guys have been shooting off at night, uh, uh, pretending that their fire were, I don't know, no, I'm not going to say that. But anyway, uh, that's a lot of explosives. How in the hell do we get so many explosives in a country with 16 million people? Um, 31,005 gallons of fuel seized, 658 motorcycles recovered. Yeah, Take those back to the impound yard. Too damn many motorcycles on the streets anyway. Especially these guys that are driving, they don't they don't have licenses. They, you can't tell me they took driving courses and know, even know how to drive a motorcycle. But anyway, that's just the way I feel about it. And I think that's about it. Okay? So that's it. That's all I've got for you. I, I still have friends in Monta. I mean, even though I'm here in Arizona right now, I'm in touch with all my friends or a lot of my friends. And Montana is pretty much a business as usual, okay? Uh, they're all still doing pretty much the same thing they've been doing. Most of the people, you know, my age range, we're not out after midnight anyway. And if you are, you shouldn't be, okay? Even in the States, you need to be sleeping at that time. So that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching this channel. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you don't like this video, well, I don't blame you, but you can still bite me, okay? And I say that with peace and love, okay? I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.